Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another Omi and VV video. In this one, we're going to be taking another look at the charts. As you can see, the price has recovered a little bit from my last video, and it's not looking bad. It's not actually not looking bad. I think that we're seeing some positive signs, but um, I will start this video by saying I am still learning the charts. I'm learning to really read charts and learn what everything means, because if you don't know this, I do plan to get into day trading and things like that here on this channel so i do want to really dive deeper in this so um yeah i've been studying it i've been looking at the charts and we're going to be going over it and i'm going to show you some of the things that i notice if you are an experienced day trader or you're an expert at charts and things like that let me know in the comment section if i've done something wrong or if i have a wrong understanding of something all advice is accepted here so yeah um before we jump into it as always be sure to drop that thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new turn on those notifications so you can stay updated with vv Ecomi news and like in the future, you maybe you see some trading videos on um, <laughs> VV and he called me. So yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Let's jump into it. Be sure to follow me on social media to stay updated and all that. And yeah. So here we have it. We're gonna start off on the four hour chart here. Um, and as you can see, it looks like it looks like the volume. We're getting some volume back here. And obviously, it's it's six in the morning where I'm at now. Six in the morning in Chicago. So it, it's it's the day is starting. The day is starting. The market's about the stock market's about to open. In a couple hours here so yeah it's like people are getting up we're, we're starting to see like as you can see when it's when it's really when it's really bearish there's like high levels of red high levels of red and then it's it slowly goes down and it's, it's a slow downtrend but now and you've been seeing a bunch of red you've been seeing this at these areas if fan find some support right here for a little bit start to go up people buying the dip then it's more red but now it looks like we are finding we're finding some more um support here and more we're starting to see more green so um i want to actually take a closer look on at the um at the hour chart so as you can see here here on the hour chart you can still see this this big downward um volume right here this big downward um trend we had here then um it this see now this I don't know exactly the rules for a W pattern. I do know a W pattern is bullish. That's a bullish move. So this looks like a nasty, a nasty W right here. This this pattern right here, it looks like a nasty W pattern, which could be heading to the upside. Um or at least heading to upward. Like I don't know how far, but yeah, it looks like that could be a little bit more bullish. And if you go here on the 30 minute, as you can see, it's a clear w it's a clear w pattern right here it's a clear w so um we're seeing more greens we're seeing more um more upward more, more upward movement so it looks like we could be heading back in the other direction and then they're going to be announcing some news more news more details and stuff like that more hints so um i'm pretty sure this price is going to start heading upwards we found some support looks like we found some support here at um the 57 we found some support here around 57 um and yeah it looks like that this this is where we're at right now so let's see let's go to the um four hour yeah so um we found another support level there so now we have to get past this resistance here so this is if i'm if i'm reading this correctly this has become the new point of resistance here getting back above this then once you get above that this is going to be the line of resistance and yeah it's just uh yeah so from my understanding that's how this works that's how things is going on right now um it looks like volume is the volume is looking good let me check um i know that i know that there are some signs you can look for when you're using the macd as well let me see if is, is that applicable let me know if that's applicable if you do study charts and, and know what's going on here um let me see. Let me see what the MACD says. <clears throat> so yeah, the MACD, and and basically, usually, uh, from my understanding, the MACD usually predicts when there's going to be an upward trend, down trends, and stuff like that. When the lines cross a certain direction, so so basically, when this line crosses down, when the blue line crosses down, that should be um, bearish. It should be going bearish. Then when it crosses when it crosses the red line again, that should be a sign that's a bit of a bullish move. Then down, it goes down again. Um, when the when the blue line crosses over, that's signs of a um, of a bullish move. 
So yeah, the blue line has not crossed over yet, actually. So maybe maybe it's not going to head back up from here. Maybe it's still it's still consolidating, trying to figure out which direction it's going to go in. So I I do know that there's a lot of different key factors you're supposed to look at as well. So and yeah, I don't I don't really know all those factors, but I know that you're not just supposed to um, view any one indicator when making a decision by the charts. You 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 look at multiple indicators. So you look at volume. You look at you look at this. You look at um. You look at the patterns that's forming, and yeah, I just have to really get solid on the things that, on my understanding. So, let's see, on a four hour, it doesn't quite look bullish yet. In the last in the last hour, actually, it, it has crossed over. The last hour, it has crossed over, which means we could be heading upward. So, it seems to be basically going, going upward at this point. In the last hour, you see all this green. It's a lot of green in the last hour. Um... Looks like we we we're finding some yeah, and this right here. If you look for the last thirty minutes, is definitely it definitely is, um, past there. The MACD definitely is past and and doing and looking good. So yeah, um, let me know in the comment section if you're a um expert with charts. If I did everything right, if I'm looking at this the right way, if something was done wrong, please let me know in the comment section. Um, I, like I said, I am still studying. I'm still a learner when it comes to this aspect. That's why you don't see me do technical analysis very often. Um, but I do like to, to pull it out at some points just to see if I'm getting better, see if I'm improving. Because could you all let me know in the comment? You all always let me know in the comment section. Um, Yo, you did that right. Oh, you got to do this or something like that. So... Yeah, I always like the constructive criticism. I'm not the YouTuber that's going to um, pretend to be some super expert at every aspect of everything online. Just like, no. I'm, I'm here um, to invest, learn the things that I can learn, and, and get better at the things that I, that I don't know. Like, I'm here to improve just like anybody else. Improve my financial situation and improve when it comes to learning certain things. And um, this... Trading, trading is going to be one of them. So, yeah, let me know what you all think of the chart, my chart breakdown. Like I said, it looks like it looks like we're it looks like it's going up to me. This is my prediction. I'm going to predict that it's going to go up a little bit from here. Um, it may go back down. Like depending on like nothing is really happening still. It, we we it's it's like people are just buying the dip right now. I feel like it's gone up because people are buying the dip, but there's really no no other reason for movement right now. I feel like like I said that no no variables within VV have changed. The the marketplace still is probably dry um there's there's and then they still haven't released anything like i mean we do have a little bit of news but yeah i mean nothing crazy has been released nothing crazy has been announced or anything so it's really no big reason for for us to see any big huge movement um so yeah i mean i don't know at this point let me know what you all think in the comment section down below i definitely want to hear your thoughts um definitely leave me some feedback on my technical analysis if you can call it that um, i'm definitely trying to improve so yeah let me, let me know your thoughts be sure to drop that thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new turn on those notifications and i will catch you all in the next video peace out y'all